Good to see you. Hi right, guys. Welcome to Libre X. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Welcome to our Floyd Friday pick of the week. <laughs> Can't even say it. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I kind of took a break on the Floyd because um, there's a lot of things that go into it. A lot of stuff behind the scenes, but it, it is what it is. And I'm honestly happy to be back with them because it's been, I think, more than a month since we've done anything from them. And we're going back to Pulse, baby. <laughs> And when I originally did the Comfortably Numb Pulse video, I mistakenly uh, thought that it was the closer. And uh, it wasn't. Run Like Hell was. And that's what we're listening to today. Finally, months later. <laughs> it's been like six months. I think it was during the winter we listened to um, a lot of the Pulse stuff. You know, we did a lot of Floyd stuff in the past, uh, you know, I guess, not even a few months, but in the, you know, the winter of last year and the beginning of this year. So I'm glad to be back. Thank you to our Alpha patron, Kaquina. I truly appreciate you. Um, I know you're going through a lot right now, and hopefully this will bring some sort of comfort to you. Um, what you think, Bonesy? Ready to listen to some Floyd? Why do you have to be weird, bro? Sorry. Alright, uh, bu -bu. if y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that button right there. I'd really appreciate it. Um, there's also a button there. Maybe <laughs> I should click that one too. Um, and then leave a comment with some more Floyd stuff for me to do. I was trying to do more Sid stuff, you know, because that's what I was really getting into, man. Like, and that that's such a strange era of Floyd, but I love it so much. It's so good. Um, but I love this era too. Um, I think it's what Nick, David, and Richard, right? And then the other people with them. Let's do it. And the playlist for Floyd, I'll put right there. All right, Run Like Hell by Pink Floyd, live from the Pulse Tour. Three, two, one, go. The closer, finally. Whoops. I couldn't do it every night, bro. All those lights, fuck them. Oh, the things him and Sid could have done. Sorry. <laughs> Is here. Y'all are so lucky. That is insane. footage is incredible. It's been remastered, I think. 
Oh, someone had an incident up there. So good. Already. Oh, I cannot imagine tripping there, bro. <laughs> oh, I love the smile. Probably warned people ahead of time. Imagine being on that stage though, oh my god, that'd be so much fun, dude. Good riff. Guy Pratt has been killing it in this song. I love how prominent Nick is in the mix, too. Oh no, come the fuck off. Are you fucking serious? Ooh! Here we go, Nick, open up. like heaven.
No way. That's just how they end it? That's crazy. No shit. Thank you very much indeed. Good night. Thank you. He's like, I'm ready to go home, bro. My eyes hurt. <laughs> Look at the lads. Oh. Uh, All grown up, huh? Sorry, the last time I saw them, they were very young. Dave already he's just like a dad. I love it. He's got the dad look down just perfect. Yeah, Earl's Court. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Hope to see you again. Thank you for coming. Good night. Good night. He kind of seems like a down to earth kind of dude, you know. I know that he might not be because he's, you know, obviously huge and he claims all these videos. So I mean, it, whatever. I don't mind it though. <laughs> That's why I Floyd. Like I don't mind doing them. Obviously, I love their music. You know, it's just when it's like the super long songs, and then I, I you know, I've never made a cent from them, and I don't mind it because I enjoy listening to their music. And, Nah, you ain't catching me today. Sorry, that AI camera. I, it lights up when it catches me and I have to like hide. Um, I mean, how do you even describe that? I mean, that last light show, that last flourish of it before it like blew out, that looked like heaven. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it better than that. I mean, like it literally looked like you were just being enveloped in this like eternal light, basically. That's just, you know, the pulse. <laughs> um it looked like someone was having an incident in the very beginning. You could see it if you like freeze frame. I don't know what the exact time code was, but if you look like in the bottom left corner, there's like uh, someone with paramedics and stuff right there. So I, I bet that light show is completely overwhelming to people. Now I know that some people in the comments of you know that are subscribers have said they've been at, you know to one of the shows that went around when they were doing this. And I do have a question though. Um, what year did the wall come out? Not the album, but, you know, uh, Roger's thing. You know, why am I asking you? Not like, not like you can a answer me. <laughs> I literally just asked y'all something. All right, what was it? It's uh, Roger Waters, The Wall. Oh, there's a documentary he made in 2014 as well. Um... Uh, it was oh this is for the damn movie i don't care about the movie roger the wall the film of the live concert so he's done more than one no that's just the damn album oh my god so i don't even know i can't even find it um but we've done like half of it on my patreon but we kind of dropped out because the guy didn't want me to finish it uh, so I don't know what came first. I don't know if the Pulse Tour came first or, cause I know that that was what, 1990, wasn't that the year I was born? The album was released in 1995. It was recorded. Yeah. 1994 it was recorded at least. So it was, that, that was the tour. Damn. That's crazy. So at least I was alive when this came out. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Like, it felt like they were either one. I don't know what came first. Maybe it was The Wall. Wasn't that like 1989 or like 1990? Because wasn't it around the Berlin thing? I can't remember. Um, but it kind of feels like they were going back and forth, you know, like trying to one up each other, like a pissing contest, basically. <laughs> and we all, you know, succeeded in a one out of it, the fans, because we got all these amazing shows. Um I really enjoyed, you know, Roger's take on the wall from what I saw, you know, it, it was definitely one hell of a show, you know, more than just the music itself. It was like a, a production, basically, you know, now I just realize there's a movie I have to go watch now, too. That's cool. And guess what? My new PC is uh, on the way, so I should be able to do movie reactions now, um, which is crazy. You know, <laughs> I remember when I was recording on my dingy ass laptop in that trailer, man, you know, and definitely have come a little farther than where I was before. I'm very thankful. Um, the movie reactions, I'm going to only keep it to uh, like music stuff. You know, the, the first one we're going to do is the wrecking crew. Um, I'm going to, 
I really don't know how I, I can sit here for two and a half hours. I'm going to be dead ass honest. I don't think I could do it. I could, I know I can edit it. So it looks like I'm not, but you know, like to be, I like sitting things through and doing it, you know, all the way through, but two and a half hours, that's a long time. So I don't know if I'm going to split it in like halves or just like record it in pieces and just put it together as an edited thing. I don't know. I've never really taken on like an editing project that big. So it would definitely be a big thing for me. Um, and then I don't even know if it's going to get blocked either. So I can put all that work into it and not even know. Um, so, but guess what? It's all right. We're going to figure it out. And then if it doesn't go on here, it's going on Patreon. So it's fine. Um, I'm excited for that. And, uh, just the way that David, I don't know, he just creates the atmospheric sound so well. Um, him and Richard together are just deadly, dude, <laughs> deadly for your emotions and your, um, emotional well being. because that, you know, I was honestly getting emotional from the light show, because, you know, this was a, um, I think this was the encore song or like the final song. So it was uh, almost like a goodbye and like a, a nightcap on the concert, you know. So they weren't like, other than that, like solo that Nick got there at the end, that was intense. But for the most part, it was, uh, that's what, this is one of like the atmospheric kind of chiller Pink Floyd songs, even though the lyrics kind of seem like they're not, you know, but the music is very relaxing and chilling at points. It does have its moments where it kind of like, whoa, you know, it gets the blood pumping. But for the most part, it's like one of those atmospheric Floyd tracks, which I love that. Um, those are kind of, those are sort of my favorites, honestly, when they just like create like this whole environment and like living, breathing atmosphere within the song. And you can just kind of repeat it over and over, you know, and you're just living in their world that they're creating. Like, he is uh, an absolute genius, man. David and Richard, the way that they just, you know, combine their efforts to flesh out, you know, this, you know, like I said, living, breathing audio scape, basically. Uh, they do it wonderfully. But then, then you pair that with one of the best shows of all time. You know, definitely the most expensive, it looks like. I don't know. That, that light show was definitely not cheap in 1994. I can tell you that. Um, you know, and it's just incredible to watch. I'm glad that there's footage of it. I'm glad that obviously there's remastered footage of it. So it even looks even, you know, better. Kind of, it gives us a view of what the people were seeing, you know, as it was, you know, actually there. And I cannot imagine how amazing it was to be there. And I know that a couple of y'all said you were there. I am very jealous. Um, so I'll read off this before I go. Um, David Gilmore on lead vocals and lead guitar. Nick Mason on drums. Richard Wright on the keyboards. Um, oh, there's an astronomy, uh, astronomy domini or domini. Uh, I don't know that he does lead vocals on that one. Uh, Co-lead vocals on time. Hmm. And yeah, and comfortably numb. I remember that one too. That was obviously the tear inducing one. Um, Guy Pratt on bass, and then he did the co-lead vocals for this one. He did a wonderful job at that. His voice, uh, honestly, was a little better than Rogers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of like the way it was a little more raspy and uh, harder edge almost than uh, the original version, which I have heard. So it, I like that one more. I like his backup vocals a little more, honestly. Um, John Karen on keyboards. Sam Brown backing vocals. Um, Durga McBroom. Claudia Fontaine on backing vocals, Tim Renwick on guitar, Dick Perry on saxophone, Gary Wallace on percussion, and that's it. Uh, what a wonderful show, and I'm so glad we finally got to watch the end of it. Thank you so much, uh, Coquina. You were amazing, and thank you for all these wonderful requests, because I'm always happy to return to Floyd, even though they don't like me, so it's fine. <laughs> um, the wooden experience, though, and if you guys were there, let me know in the comments, because I know I had like two people let me know, you know, uh, I think in previous videos that they were there, and I want to hear your story because I bet it's amazing. So <laughs> uh, if I had to say anything, that was my favorite thing. Um, obviously, Nick's solo there at the end, which he just went crazy on every you know piece of his kit, basically. It, honestly, it sounded like his, his toms and his snares. He was just going super fast. And Nick is one of the best um, just percussive, you know, players general, man. Like he is so good um it you know anchoring these you know crazy worlds that they're creating you know and he really does bring it down to a earth level you know and a really sometimes he does complex rhythms you know definitely but you know for the most part it's very the most uh the di digestible part of the track is i think the percussion from nick and um he is the beating heart of the band i feel like uh and he gets uh, but i say that about richard though richard's the heart of the band no lee so what's all right, so Nick's the arms, drummer, you know, um, <laughs> in the hands. 
I guess David would be the brain, Richard's the heart. So what does that make, Roger? Let me know down below. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Patreon right there. Oh, eh. I mean, hi, sorry, he's trying to find me. Um, that's the picture of it. That should be gone. There's a link in the description. Join the $15 tier or up. You get one free request a month. Join any tier. You get access to all of our block videos, full album reactions, and uh, a whole lot more. We'd love to have you. Um, and there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or <laughs> leave a tip or send a request in that way. God damn you, Lee. You, are, you good, Bozy? I can't say that. He doesn't like Roger. Sorry. Bye.